The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. Welcome to another edition of Zach's Rank Buy. I am Brian Bolin, and I am the aggressive growth stock strategist here at Zach's Investment Research. And I've got two more names for your aggressive growth radar screen. So let's jump right into it. We've got the first one on the screen already. It's Zendesk. Its ticker is Z-E-N, and it's right there. It is a Zach's Rank number one. That is a strong buy, strong buy for number one. Uh, we got an F for value and a B for growth. Uh, I like to see that divergence right there of uh, a strong uh, growth style score and a uh, weak value score because that tells me right away I'm on the right path because value investors and growth investors are inherently looking for different things. Uh, so let's take a look at why this stock is a Zach's rank at number one. So first off, we can see uh, that the company loves to beat the number uh, 233% there. 66% there, a meat, and then uh, doubling up 100% over the last four quarters. Our positive average earnings surprise is 100%. I'll get that out of the way so you can see it now. You can see estimates um, flat and flat, but ticking higher, ticking higher, 27 to 32 cents. So that's a that's a move like that. And this is flat. You know, I think it's a little bit out of the visibility right now. They don't analysts don't have the visibility for next year, but. Uh, Still, that uh, gives us a, a good Zach's rank. And, you know, when we take a look at the valuation here, and I think this is kind of, you know, where I'm in on this story and why I have this one as our as our play right here, 36% top line growth. That's outstanding uh, on a year over year basis. Uh, are you paying up for it at 240 times? Yes, you are. Uh, at 19 times book? Yes, you are. Um, operating margins uh, I don't know what's up with that and I don't know why our net margins are, are negative because we just saw that the earnings level was positive so uh, maybe there's a little little something the uh, ghosts in the machine that's what I'm gonna call that but uh, still outstanding growth and then if we take a look at the chart uh, you know this has been really a up up and away situation for the last since the beginning of 2018 the stock was in home run investor uh, and we, we, we ran it nice and long, and uh, we had a great run with it. Uh, you can see it had another excellent move here, beginning of the year. So beginning of this year right there, beginning of this year right here. And what do we have coming up right here at this year? The beginning of the year, uh, we're going to have another big move up uh, to this magical $100 level. I think so. I, I think that's what's that's in store for, for Zendesk. Um, you know, the market looks good. And uh, I think the first quarter of this year is going to be outstanding for the market just in general. Uh, probably first two quarters. First half, we'll say, would be very strong. Second half, I'm a little worried. But uh, first half, we're, we're still going to be good. And that has really sets up well for Zendesk. So that's uh, Z-E-N is the ticker. 76 bucks. It looks uh, looks really solid right here. So um, I like it. All right, let's move on to our next name. And it's uh, Surgery Partners. Now, this one, you know, this is X rank number two. Uh, so it's S-G-R-Y as our ticker. And only a C for growth. Uh, and a B for value. A, a better value score than a uh, growth score. And you're like, Brian, why are you uh, telling us about this stock? Well, let's go right here to the chart. I'm, I'm just going to show just the abbreviated chart right up here. We see right here, this, this was an earnings meet. And then the stock, uh, boy, oh boy. I mean, we're talking about a double. We're talking about a double in a month and a half. Uh, and, and I see it continuing to roll. Let's just take a quick look at, 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 at the numbers here. Boy, oh boy, all these red numbers here, all these misses. You don't normally see these in, in my videos. Um, you always see green numbers down there for some reason. Um, but this one's got a lot of red. A lot of red. And the estimates, you know, uh, yeah, over the last 30 days, it's ticked higher. Smaller loss to there and then smaller loss here and smaller loss here. But over the last 90, 60 days, it's really not that much uh, improved. It's actually worse on a 60-day basis. So uh, what is going on here with this stock? And, and, you know, no growth, 2%, as you can see here from the highlighted area bunch of NAs because the valuation is bad, but the valuation here, 
you're getting it at less than book value. Uh, boy, and and here's the chart, and and we talked about that that spurt higher after all of these misses, seven misses in a row. That's a lot of misses. And now I'm realizing that I didn't have the one chart that I want to have up there, but the idea here behind why this thing is moving up in in, in a huge way is is this number. I'm gonna put it up here. I'm getting better and better at um, at my drawing skills. 36% short interest. So what does that mean? Uh, that means of the outstanding float, uh, and let me, let me, I'll give you the number right here. Uh, there's 20 million shares in the float and 50 million shares outstanding. I'm sorry, and it's not 36%, it's actually 32%. So let's get rid of that, and I'll give you the 30. Oof, that, that's a terrible one. Let's not, let's just, let's just go with the idea. We know that it's 32, uh, 32%. Uh, short interest. So fully one third, basically, of all the shares out uh, in the float are sold short. Now, uh, this company has been missing the number. Miss, 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 miss. And the stock's been going down. And the shorts uh, stayed in there. Uh, and, and now with a meet, the stock has turned around and it, it is up, up and away. And they are still heavily short. Now the idea of the market is is pretty strong right here. Uh, you know, I think there's a lot of uh, ideas out there for the first quarter being, you know, going to be super solid. We're going to have great earnings coming in. The whole market is going to be lifting things higher. This is one of those very very heavily shorted names, uh, and for that reason, I see a squeeze happening. Now, boy, when we talk about squeezes, uh, there is a name that that comes to mind, and, and it, it it's this name. It's this Tesla. And I mean, look at this stock. This this is Zach Strang number two. Maybe I should have done this name instead. But uh, I think we all know Tesla's pretty good, right? I mean, everyone loves Tesla, don't they? I mean, in social media, all I hear about is Tesla and how happy people are with uh, with the stock and the valuation. And this thing has just blistered. Uh, we're trading over 400, 405. Talk about a growth name. Uh, there you go. Uh, and by the way, I'm going to be buying that Cybertruck. I, I've got a Model X. I love it. It's outstanding. But when this Cybertruck comes, boy, I'm buying it. You know why? Because when, when you see that thing rolling down the, the street, you're going to be like, boy, who's the jerk in that car? And I'm like, it's me. I'm the jerk in that car. All right. So there you go. It's almost like a, a Christmas special uh, Zach's Rank 5 video we did. Uh, Zendesk we did. Surgery Partners. And uh, a little taste on Tesla. Um Still love the Tesla. Still think it's going to go to 500. Uh, no problem. All right, that's it for me. Be sure to join me next year. That's right. I'm not doing a video next week or later in December, but next year in 2020. So Merry Christmas to you all and Happy New Year. Take care from Brian Bullen.